Hello, design users. Welcome to this presentation on 2020 design version 11.9. My name is Santiago Morales, and I'm the product manager of 2020 design, and I'm very happy to be with you today to share some of these exciting features with you. Okay, so here are the features that are bundled up into version 11.9. There's a, a, around nine of them, and actually my favorite one is the one for 360 panoramic publications to Facebook, which I think you'll, you'll appreciate. The second one being the custom elevation, which allows you to do an elevation of a multiple wall configuration. We also have unlocked the capability to move item using the keyboard keys, which will greatly uh, increase your speed in which you design your kitchen. Then we also have added the global style validation, also known as GSV, to our generic catalogs. These are uh, sample E, sample F, and sample M. Uh, through global style validation, we also, we also made accessible the AMROC hardware and the Uniboard textures and the Sherwin-Williams paint colors. The Knowledge Center is also uh, readily accessible through 2020 design. We'll touch base on that later on to tell you exactly what that is. And finally, we've updated our important mechanism of large textures so that uh, they're more workable within the 2020 design environment. With that, we'll go straight ahead with our first feature, the 360 Panoramas publication to Facebook. So this is an exciting way to get more visibility on your design and your 360 panels that you've done. I'll just, so just like before, uh, you create your 360 panoramics, and you'll get a link through your 360 panoramic on our web server. So as an example, I'll go to one that I've done in the past. And this is a panorama I have done from Anthony Johnson's kitchen. And as you'll see, you'll have a link to our panoramic server. And what we've done in version 9 is the capability to add this Facebook link button at the end. So what this does, it provides you an interface directly to post your picture or image, or in this case, your 360 panoramic image on Facebook. So you'll be able to log in, in this case, already logged in, You'll be able to say something interesting about this picture, and you'll be able to post your picture on, on Facebook. So to give you an idea what it looks into Facebook, I have opened our 2020 Spaces Facebook page. And in here, I have created an album of my 360 panoramic project. Just in here, I have created an album, and all these are 360 panoramic images. So if I open any of them, you'll notice that I have a 360 panoramic and I'll be able to move this directly straight from Facebook and I even can resize the screen to show my full 360 panoramic view straight into Facebook. And by doing this, you're also unlocking the capability of Facebook. You'll get a lot more visibility. You'll be able to share your design and projects. You'll be able to allow the the other users to like your design, and then in turn, this will share their, your project to their friends. So quickly, you'll get a lot of exposition on your projects. Back to our presentation, and on to feature number two. Okay, so now we're ready to talk about feature number two, which is custom elevation. In this case, I'll go straight into design, and you'll have here a, a normal wall uh, configuration that you most likely came across in the past. In this case, I have one wall with a, an opening, another wall, a 90-degree wall with another wall at the end. So the, the way we, where we were able to use or to do elevation is per placement zone. So whenever I double-click a placement zone, an elevation appears for that specific wall. So every wall will have its own window. In this case, if I double click on this, on this placement zone, this elevation would come up. What we've done in version 11.9 is the capability to do a single window for all these walls. We've done this through the Room Layout uh, ribbon tab and the Add Custom Elevation button. By clicking this button, you'll be able to define a starting point for a line that you'll place on the floor plan and once you double click or click again, a zone will appear. This blue zone 
it defines the area of your uh, elevation or your custom elevation in this case. And any item touching this blue zone, blue zone will appear on my elevation. So all my cabinets, all my walls appear in a single elevation. So be, you'll be able to have a better situational awareness of your environment and you'll be, you'll be able to define or display this uh, elevation to uh, an installation crew more easily. Another reason for the custom elevations is you'll be able to notice some errors. In this case, you might not have noticed my two cabinets on this wall were at a different height. So this leads me to my next feature, which is the use of keyboard and arrow keys. So if I go back to my elevation, I can select my two cabinets and using my shift key and arrow keys, I can bring this cabinet down to the level of the other cabinets on the other walls. So I think you'll appreciate this a lot. You'll gain a lot of efficiency to move items into your project and your design, and you'll be able to configure that as well. What do I mean by configuration? So if I go into my preferences, we've added under work area, the item move with arrow keys. So you, you'll, you'll be able to define these distance parameters depending to your liking. By default, if you only use the keyboard arrow keys, the placement will be from 12 inches. You can change these parameters to your liking. You can go very precise. And also we've added the second control, just like I've used in the elevation. You can use your shift key and with combination of your arrow keys, to get a different level of increment. In this case, it's set by default to one inch. This feature is available on the floor plan and as I've shown before, on the elevation. You can move left and right, up and down in the floor plan, and you can do the same thing. You can move left and right and up and down. Cool. On to our next subject, GSV for generic catalog. GSV, which stands for Global Styles Validation, provides you an interface or a GUI uh, for easier navigation through thumbnails for your selection of your styles for doors, uh, tall doors, and drawer upcharge. So I'll just go straight to design and we'll get a better understanding of what we're talking about. This is my design under items. Just like I used to do, I go under styles of validation to change my styles of my kitchens that I did. And under catalog styles, for my specific ca uh, catalog sample list, I have a list of styles that I can change. By double clicking on the column value, any of them, it brings up my global style validation window. So I'm just gonna resize a bit this window so that we'll be able to play with it a bit more. And you have all these presets that you can select and change uh, to your liking. So for instance, if I go into base door upcharge, you'll see uh, again just now a series of thumbnails, large thumbnails in this case, that provides you a better uh, representation of your style that you'd like to select. So in this case, I might want to have the Montreal style. Once I do a selection, you'll notice that it goes straight to the next category, in this case, the wall door upcharge. Again, I, I might want to select the same type of style for my wall doors, and I click again Montreal. By clicking, right away, it goes through my, sec my third selection, which is the tall door upcharge, and I'll go ahead and click again Montreal for my style, which brings me to the drawer upcharge, and again, I'll go back to Montreal for my drawers. And now I'm now in the section of the door poles and drawer poles. I'm just going to go back to my presentation, which brings me to feature number five, which is the armor hardware. In version 11.9, we've added armor hardware. If I go back to 2020 design, when I do my door pole selection, you'll notice that there's a third selection or category of uh, hardware that are accessible to us. I used to have Hickory in 2020 design generic poles. Now I have AMROC. And by clicking Amrock, I can now select the different styles and options that I like for my pools. So in this case, I like to have stainless steel pools. 
I would like to have oversight pools for my doors and I'm looking for it for my bar pulls. I can do the same type of selection for my drawer pulls. Stainless steel, oversized pool, bar pulls, and there my selection is done. I can go and select a, a premium for the species. I'm gonna go with thermofoil, white thermofoil, and I press submit. By clicking close, my kitchen is now converted to all the settings. Feature number six, uniboard textures. Uh, this is something that has been asked by the community to try to get more textures of laminate accessible to us. So I'm just gonna go through my common library. This is accessible through the material tab. In this case, I've just double click on a wall to set its texture. By double clicking the, the three dot, it brings up my uh, texture navigation. I'm just resizing this quickly for you so you have a better appreciation where we are. And if I go under laminate, you'll now notice for furniture that we have the uniboard textures. So now we've added up to 135 textures of uniboard and that these are readily accessible for you to use. I'm just going to resize this, bring this over, click, and I select my textures and I click OK, and now that wall has been assigned this texture. Feature number seven, we've updated our offering of Sherwin-William paint colors. We've updated them. We've added uh, up to close to 200 new colors of Sherwin-William, which matches what's now available in the market for Sherwin-William colors or paint colors. Feature number eight, the Knowledge Center. If I go back to Design, under the Help tab of my ribbon, I now have access to the Knowledge Center. This button brings you directly onto our web page, onto the Knowledge Center web page that gives you detailed information of commonly known how-tos. This is the main page, and we notice that we have a dedicated page for each of our products that are available in the market. So if I go to Design, and if you're looking for a specific topic, you can type it right into to the search area field. Feature number nine, important of large textures. That's something uh, that we've worked a lot. We've noticed that large uh, texture can some, sometimes make the product um, less efficient to be used. So what we've done is change our mechanism to import to large textures. What we're doing is resizing them to something that's more workable and that's, uh, that makes sense for you. So I'm just going to give you an example. If I go back to design and reopen my wall material, and if I go into my user texture library, this is the actual the, the portal to uh, enter your textures. I'm going to go ahead and delete this previously created large texture just to show you how it works. And I'm going to go through my desktop to uh, select a previously downloaded uh, texture from the web. You notice the dimension is very large, uh, very large. So we're talking about over 2,000 by 1,800 pixels for this large text. Line. So this could cause um, limitation in the speed of 2020 design. Therefore, for by selecting this picture or this texture, design now detects this to be a large texture. So it's offering you the capability to resize it to a normal setting, which is recommended, or to a large setting. We definitely recommend, of course, setting it to normal, which is close to 200 pixels by 200 pixels uh, limitation. If you select large, we'll leave it at a size of uh, 1,000 pixels. So if I click OK, that texture is not used. It's been resized. You can still change the description, the texture uh, JPEG, and you can even still change its scale, uh, its scale mean or its appearance. All right, so keep in mind their 2020 design is available for trials. Go ahead and download it on your app, uh, desktop and you'll be able to test drive it to your liking and at your pace to make sure you like all these new cool features. Uh, you can get help at any time we have a list of training classes that are available through our webpage. 
Uh, like I've mentioned previously, we have now a new repository of Knowledge Center of white papers, and there is also the community. I recommend you go and check out the community, 2020 Spaces, uh, under the forum tab. Uh, this is where a lot of users, 2020 users, post their questions and answers to questions uh, from other community users. And I myself look at all the posts and specifically uh, wish lists that you are, would like to have in 2020 design. Any new features or recommendations that you'd like to see happening in 2020 design, I'll go through this on a daily basis and make sure to take note of them uh, for consideration for, for our next release. You can follow us on social media. Uh, there's a couple of hashtags here uh, you should mark down. Thank you very much for your attention. My name is Santiago Morales, Product Manager 2020 Design. Bye-bye.